It's your boy Black Spider Guy Advice. Hey guys, your boy BSG. I really wanted to talk about what's going on in China right now. They're, they're going through exactly what we are going through here in America and what men in the United Kingdom and Canada are going through. Basically any first world country is going through right now. Where feminism is empowering the women to focus on their careers and focus on that money. But see, that negatively impacts their ability to get a man. Um, as the clip is going to showcase to you, ladies are picking only from the wealthy. Does that sound familiar? And as a result, are not giving the ordinary man the time of day. This video clip comes from a lady in China talking about how men over there were supposed to go to a matchmaking um, event. Um, but let, let's just watch the clip. Recently, an awkward event took place in Hangzhou. I'm sure everyone has heard about it by now. At a grand matchmaking event with over a thousand people, not a single man showed up. And let me just say this real quick before we continue on. This is happening in America too. There was a clip on TikTok where a young black lady was talking about how she went to a singles event and not a single man showed up to these sorry, to that event. And I think this is just happening in general across the board when it comes to these matchmaking events. I mean, even I. You know, I see these matchmaking events in New York City. I just walk past it because ladies at the end of the day are, are just trying to look for some fun. Personally, anytime I've tried to meet somebody at these events, they're just looking for some fun. Nobody wants strings attached. They're focusing on their careers. There's no space for me, but let's, let's continue. Organizers of the event also implemented a relatively unfair policy. Women could participate for free, while men had to pay double the fee. As a result, more than 500 women, adhering to the principle of better to be single than settle, still made high demands on men. Wow, what were they thinking like that? <laughs> okay, we want men to come to an event to get with these women. But we're gonna charge them double, they're, gonna, they're all gonna come. <laughs> Does this sound familiar, guys? Ladies constantly talk about how, oh man, we're oppressed by the system. You can go to a matchmaking program for free to find a guy that you're looking for um, to pay for everything you need in life. <laughs> Imagine, guys, we go to a place and we're like, we demand the hottest women here that are cooking clean and drain our balls without any say. And if you can't do that, you're not a good woman. I have standards. <laughs> this is what the ladies over there are doing. They're doing it here, they're doing it there. It's, it's, again, the, the feminist virus is spreading across the planet. And all it's doing is making it harder for older ladies to find a partner. And it's just making younger dudes and dudes in general just stay single. Let's watch more. Nowadays, fully paying for a house and car has become the minimum standard for matchmaking. But what's surprising is that thousands of older single women have ended up being completely ignored. What exactly has caused this situation? Why are more and more men choosing to remain single? And see, this question this lady is asking is a question that women all over the world are asking. Why are men not wanting to get married? Why don't they want to pay for everything and do everything I say? I don't understand. Wow, it's so hard to understand that. Um, and again, the ladies that are going to these events are 30 plus. Men usually want a lady that's a little younger than them, right? That isn't focused on themselves, right? And has the ability to what? possibly have a family. A lot of these older ladies don't have the ability to make families, unfortunately. 35 is the age of geriatric pregnancy. It's not to say every man wants a family, but every man wants the chance or possibility to do so. As a guy who's in a man's space, trust me, I know, right? But it just amazes me. These ladies don't understand that men don't want to have to pay all this money in a society where Hyperinflation is out of the yin yang. It's hard to find good paying jobs. And women said they wanted independence and want to do whatever they want. But then at the same time, they're looking for a man to still act like a husband, still be this traditional man. But they're not this traditional woman. And I've said this in previous videos before. It, it's not a mystery to know what men want and why they're not getting married. Shout out to my Chinese bros. Let's watch some more. Watching this matchmaking event makes us truly understand what is meant by silent resistance. This event in Hangzhou, which was supposed to be eagerly anticipated by both men and women, unexpectedly turned into a modern version of a women's kingdom. On the day of the event, more than 500 women waited expectantly, but not a single man came. I like how she said, 
silent resistance. You know, men are pushing back. Men don't want to have a bad deal. But at the same time, we're really not resisting. More so just trying to find a woman that gives a damn, right? This lady saying, you know, all oh, the men, they're not coming up. They're pushing back. They're fighting back. We're not really fighting back. We want a woman. All men want a woman if they're drawn to women. But we want a fair deal. And what's currently give, being given to us is get with this woman who's been with every man around the world that doesn't want to do anything but do what she wants to do and treat her like a traditional woman. Here you go. And she's 35. Like, we don't want to, we don't want that. Just like women want a man that's six foot tall, six pack ass. See, what a man wants is more reasonable. We just want someone to give a damn that's physically appealing, that's a little bit younger, that wants to follow our lead. But that's seen as toxic in this society. So men just say, okay, we're just going to be single. Let's watch some more. The mindset of modern young people toward marriage has indeed undergone significant changes. Many men have faced repeated setbacks in the pursuit of love and marriage, feeling crushed under the weight of exorbitant bride prices. Some women have even made overly demanding requests, such as requiring the man to fully purchase a house and a car. Under this kind of pressure, many men have chosen to lie flat and no longer actively seek marriage partners. Remember, this is in China. Not even America, and it sounds so similar as well. I'm glad that the Chinese guys over there are realizing that spending all this money on a lady who doesn't really care nor wants to follow traditional roles herself, but expecting them out of you is just not a good deal. And if we want to fix this, we need to give men a better deal, or this isn't just this is not going to work, and it's just going to get worse. It's just going to get worse and worse like it is here in America and like it is in any other first world country, unfortunately. Guys, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe.